Hey guys, Tishi Lover here. Yesterday we were blessed with the spoiler list for the Star Pack. I made a video talking about the Star Pack saying how if I was going to choose between a KFC where you get 10 piece chicken, 4 fries, a Pepsi and 2 sides for 9.99 or you buy 10 packs of Star Pack. And now that I've looked at the spoiler list, I think I'm going to have to go with the KFC. This list of cards, it's some random kid comes up to you at locals and says, how can you can you make my 60 card deck better? I want to play, I want to be just like Yuma. So then you look at his deck and you're like, this is the worst deck I've ever seen. How are you supposed to win with this deck? And then I've released his deck into a pack. Of course, the whole point of this thing is so that people in this country, England, or in other places in Europe and Latin America, get access to all the cards that Europe, that America have had access to because of uh, jump cards and GX mangas and stuff like that, and allows it to become playable here. So it's got a place, but at the same time, there's only about four cards in this entire pack that are remotely playable that actually we want. Element of Hero Escaridal, the two Arcana Force rulers, uh, the Dark Ruler and the Light Ruler. I believe the Light Ruler is the better one. Um, the one that lets you attack twice and stuff like that, a 4,000 attack, that's pretty good. I'm just looking at this thing like, what a load of shit. What a terrible set. It's absolutely awful. I mean, of course, the icing on the cake here is that it's got Utopia in it, and of course we needed another Utopia because we don't have enough already. Who hasn't got, like, 55 Utopias at this point? What is the point? So, okay, moving on. Mechlord Emperor Weisel. Yes, okay, we needed that, and we've been needing that for so long to a point where it was in Last Era. You know, that was in the 5Ds format. Why didn't they just release it when the card came out in the anime? It's stupid. Why did we Why did we not get access to that card? I mean, it's so much better than Granol. Granol, like, yeah, it's 4,000 at the most, but it reduces, its attack points get lower over time, and it doesn't actually have any protection, but you can just keep Weisel on the field, and then use it to negate Heavy Storm, use it to negate Dark Hole, negate everything and it just stays on the field it's a really good card and yet we never got it in time it's really depressing to see cards like this come out so late now that it's pointless to make a set that releases these cards there's no point for them to be here anymore the only one that should have been out and we should have got it when america got it was a skiridel you know they obviously they released all the crappy numbers cards that everyone's got a hundred of illuminate crimson shadow leviathan dragon terabyte utopia Galaxy Queen and Dark Mist. We, everyone has a hundred of them. We don't need that. We need Big Eye. We need Atlantis. We need uh, Lucky Strike. We need Machu Mech. We need all those cards reprinted. We, you know, Shark Drake, Shark Drake uh, Vice, so that you can actually play Vice. But no, they release all the really crappy cards that were in stupid, like, rarities that weren't even, you know, and when they were released, people used to value them at, like, one or two pounds each. There's no point releasing this. You know, I mean, like, you're going to get a kid who's going to buy this and go, Oh my god, I pulled Wonder Wand. Oh my god, I pulled Utopia. This is so good. So and then they buy more than one pack and they realise that it's a waste of money. And actually, spending £3 to get 9 cards, and 9 of them, let's say that you pull Thriller Rabka, Faith Bird, Earth Armor Ninja, Ego Boost, Catapult Warrior, Big Jaws, Galaxy Eyes, and a Gaga Magician, and a Infected Male. If you pull that, you're going to look at it and go, what? what a load of crap. Why would you want this? It's stupid. I mean, unless you pull Wiser, unless you pull Skuridal, unless you pull a card that was actually relevant and actually needs to be reprinted to actually be available in this country, all the other ones are absolutely rubbish, and you can get them as commons in the actual set. You can go online, go to Cool King, and go to, to Troll and Toad, or whatever, what, you know, wherever you live, and you can just get these cards in common. It's that simple. So why would they release this in a pack? It's the most retarded thing, and it's just stupid. I mean... As I said before in my other video, Star Pack needed to be released with a card that makes it sellable. You know, Card Card D, Big Eye, a couple of the other numbers cards basically, and that was it. If you just do that, then the, deck will, the, the whole pack will sell and America will be like, they'll be so jelly that they'll have to use their secret rare ones that are like £20. And then we'll get to use our £2 ones, you know? But they didn't. They just released a whole bunch of crap. And now no one's going to buy it. So for, for well done, Konami. You really did uh, pull something out of your ass this time. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. And until next time, the t lover is out.